Hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel where we're not good gamers, just good people who play games. And today we got something really, really special for you guys. We have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the limited steelbook edition. Dan couldn't make it today because he's busy. So today I'll be sitting in for him and I'll be playing this game, Tomb Raider. I've been a huge fan of Tomb Raider. I've played the first game which was released in 1996 and I'm so excited because I've been waiting for this game for quite some time. So if you want to get your own copy of the game, do head down to the links down below and you can get your own copy of this game. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into the game. Okay, you know, I've been a huge fan of Tomb Raider and I've played since the start. So I'm pretty confident that I'm able to complete this game with heart. So let's just give it a shot and let's go. So this game is set in South America and it would lead on to like this legendary place called Paititi. Okay, so we start off in like a plane or something like that. You know how some games like their start is so slow? This is intense. They have definitely improved the graphics in this one. Like you can see all the sweat and all the pores on their skin. Oh my god! Okay, come on Lara. Oh my lord. Okay, here we are. Just look at the amount of detail on your faces. I don't want to attract attention. I'm on my way. Well, um, what I realized is that they could improve on the lip sync. Like the words doesn't really tally with their mouth movements, but other than that, it looks pretty amazing. Like you can even see the water trickling down the rocks. Okay. Just step square. Nice. You know, mad respect for Lara because she's a super strong lady. Oh my lord! Come on Lara, you can do it Lara! Okay, what do we do now? Okay, we can move. we will just move up. Slowly. Yep, they have definitely improved the graphics and the movements of the characters. It, this is, this is... I feel like I'm actually Lara. If it was me, if, if, if I'm put in the same situation right now, I would freak out. It literally moves according to your movements and it feels like you're actually controlling the game. And that's really important because there are some games where when you move, like there's like a slight delay. But so far the movement is pretty on point. Okay, basic movement. Use L to move and press X to jump on mantle onto low platforms and obst obstacles. Okay, so... Jonah, I'm out. Be careful the way into Go the forward. Press square to attach to craggy walls. Yeah, this is my favourite part of the game. Where you can actually scale and like climb walls. And she does it so effortlessly. Move L forward and press X to jump onto overhanging surfaces. Oh my sh Lord. Okay, use L to move on overhangs. Okay. Pretty pretty simple. Okay, I guess I have to press X. Oh. Okay, where am I supposed to go now? Okay, this way. Wow. Treasure. You know, sometimes I wonder if these kind of things actually exist in real life. I mean, they do exist, but it would be really amazing to like find stuff or like hidden treasures that you've never seen before, like people never seen before. No, 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 no. <gasps> uh oh. Okay, it's a bomb. Definitely it's a bomb. Such a waste. If I was her, I would just take the gem and just go out. <laughs> For the gram. <laughs> okay. Okay, this kind of like reminds me of like Assassin's Creed with the hood and like the sneak attack and stuff. Oh yeah, and by the way, Shadow of the Tomb Raider really kind of like focuses on the stealth mechanics of the game. So there's a lot more stealth that you can do in this game. And there's a lot more approach where you can go forward into the game. So, so there's not only one approach, but there's like multiple approach. Okay, so we gotta find the guy. I'm not sure where am I supposed to go now, but I don't have any direction, like any any markings or something like that. So I'm, I suppose I just need to walk around and, and like find it. Okay, it's somewhere here, I guess. It's somewhere here. Because I see men with guns. So whenever you see guns, it's, it's like a good thing. This looks kind of creepy. Okay, it's a graveyard. It's definitely a graveyard. So they're like doing their offerings and stuff. Let's just move forward. Okay, we're in like... Oh my lord. Okay, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. So far the graphics is really, really amazing. It's like they paid detail and attention to like every single thing in the game. Okay, so I think I can't go there. So I'm gonna make another turn over here. 
I wish I could run at this point of time. <gasps> Dominguez wants confirmation Croft is here. You have the photo. Female, Caucasian, early 20s. You got that? Well, good. They'll find her. Good. I don't want anyone getting in my head. So they know that I'm here. Okay, I think I can just walk through here. All right, let's go. Let's kill some people. I can't wait to kill people. Well, technically, I just want to see like the fighting mechanics in the game. Find another way into the dig site. Um, I see doors. I see walls. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Okay, what is this? Press X to jump, then X again to wall scramble. Oh, okay. That's pretty simple. So she has a quiver ready. Does that mean that I have a bow and arrow at the start? Oh my god, I do have a bow and arrow at the start. You know, every game that I play, I would always go for bow and arrow. I just don't know why. It's just so cool to have a bow and arrow. I would choose a bow and arrow over a gun. It's so dark. I can't really see it. Shh, I see a man. Can I sting attack? Stealth take down, press triangle. Oh wow. Sweet. Sweet. Hold L2 to aim your bow and arrow. Alright, okay, that's pretty simple. Okay, so I guess we need to find the entrance to the temple. Okay, so you press R3 to highlight important stuff that you're supposed to get in the map. Gotta make my way down. X climb, press X to jump and attach to the craggy walls. Okay, am I supposed to go down? Press L2 or R to rappel down from climbable walls. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm having fun already. Okay, I'm supposed to jump there. Alright, alright. Pretty simple, pretty simple. I'm supposed to jump onto the other side. Alright. Okay, it's pretty simple. Oh no, oh no. Hang on to it! Uh, no! Yes, I got that right. Okay, am I supposed to rappel down right now? Okay, I'm, I, th I think I'm supposed to go up. Yeah, this side. Okay, wall scramble. Wow! Huh. Nice. Okay, I probably have to swing onto the other area. Here we go. And jump. Sweet. Yep, most definitely. One. Two, three. Nice. What is this? In this game, you're able to like collect resources, materials, and you're able to craft them. So, if you ever see something that you can collect in a game, make sure you do it. It will save your life. Trust me. Use L2 to aim and R2 to lose rope arrows. Okay. Oh, right, right. Yes, this was in Tomb Raider in like back in 2013. You are able to do this. Nice. What is that? Can I shoot that down? Yeah, so this is one thing about Tomb Raider. There are stuff which looks completely normal, but you're actually supposed to hit it. And, and it will give you like bonus experience or like, or like skill sets and stuff. So always look around and always make sure that you can hit stuff. Am I supposed to go below? Yep, definitely. You know, I've played enough games to know that sometimes there's underwater entrances. How long can she breathe underwater? There's no exact bar. Oh shit. Trap air. Okay. This is like one of my biggest fear happening right now. Square, 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 square. For a moment, I can't breathe there. Nice. Good job, Lara. So I guess we can loot this thing over here. Very nice. Oh, I see something that we can shoot. Very nice. Take care. No, there's nothing here. Oh my god. No! It's really hard. I'm not even kidding. What? So I'm supposed to move forward. Triangle. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm supposed to wait for it and not go forward. Use hardwood to craft silent arrows. Okay, so there's... So in order for you to craft arrows, you need to collect woods. So always remember to not waste your arrow so much. Okay, so I need to look for heavy stuff. 
Okay, so what I'm what I'm supposed to do is that I'm supposed to find something heavy, and then I'm supposed to put it on on that platform over there. This looks heavy. Yep, definitely it. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, so I'm supposed to jump. No, most definitely in there. Wow. Wow. No. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice. Ropes. Normally when you see ropes, you're able to like grapple or like do stuff to it. Oh, okay. I see it. I see it. I see it. Sweet. And see. Okay, there's something that I can push definitely. Pretty basic. I see this here. So right now the cut is gonna tip over, so I think I'm guessing I need. Oh right. And then now I just hit it here, put it here, and I'm able to get onto the bell tower. I go out and I cut the rope. Alright. Good job guys. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I, think, I think I'm not supposed to go for that quick jump. Alright. <laughs> nice. Okay, rolling. Okay, so we're done with that. Now let's run. I think it's scrambled up, right? Alright, sweet. Oh, nice, very nice. And then we can we can just rappel down. Pretty simple. Very easy, guys. Oh my god, the knife! Take it! Nice! Okay, we're just gonna get out of this temple. Okay, we're almost out. Almost out. No way. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm gonna stop right here. So if you guys wanna see me get through all of these enemies, or you wanna see Dan get through all these enemies, make sure you guys let us know down below. And please guys, if you guys want to get a copy of this game, make sure you guys click in the link down below and yep, it's a really fun game. You would love the game. I'm so immersed in the game right now and I can't wait to play it again. So, until next time guys, bye!